only E.T. can take you to the Australia set of anyone but you. Oh my God, wait, you see your eyes. <laughs> Sydney is very easy to pretend fall in love with. The ideas of love are swirling through your head while these big uh, romantic moments are happening, so sometimes hard to differentiate between real life and fake life. Maybe we should just tell everyone we're together. What? Glenn and I. Like, we truly had an amazing experience together, and I really hope that that comes off and everybody can feel that, that love and friendship that was made on this film. Oh yeah, fans felt that love so much. While Glenn and Sydney were shooting this rom-com, there were rumors the two were a thing in real life as well. Both insist they're just friends. The benefit of anyone but you in theaters December 22nd? I didn't realize how naked I would be in this movie. Okay, I shouldn't. You know, I should stay away from the beer for a bit. So I definitely have some weights and resistance bands in my trailer that the whole crew knows that I break out on certain days. Glenn and Sydney play former flings who pretend to be a couple while attending a wedding. And if there's anyone who knows about big screen I do's. Speaking from experience about how rom-coms work, I know from the films that I did even 20 plus years ago, um, how important these movies are to people. Dormant Moroni is Sydney's dad, and check out this mini My Best Friend's Wedding reunion 26 years later. Rachel Griffith stars as his wife. And I just laughed, because of course, really the only other romantic comedy I've done I is My Best Friend's my Wedding. Uh, and Dermot was the paramour of Julia Roberts. And I thought, okay, it's meant to be. After we watched My Best Friend's Wedding as a, as a, as a cast, Dermot looked at me and he said, you know, really take this job seriously. The beauty of being in a rom-com is you represent love to people.